What is up everybody, this is the Wardface, and today we are back playing some more Batman. In the previous episode, we had a couple pretty big things go down. Uh, the first was we met with our old friend Oswald Cobblepot. Now, if you don't know who that is, and I didn't know in uh, last episode, I actually had to look it up after. And if you don't want to know, I guess, I guess this is a big spoiler alert thing. Uh, if you don't want to know, I couldn't help it, I had to go uh, see who he was for myself. Uh, if you don't want to know, I guess just skip like 45 seconds ahead of this right now, uh, because I'm going to tell you right now. You ready? Last warning? I'm going to tell you who Oswald is. Okay, he's the penguin, so uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I was a little surprised he doesn't look like the penguin at all, or what I'm thinking of the penguin. I guess I'm kind of thinking of like the Danny DeVito character, which <laughs> I probably shouldn't instantly jump to, but uh, that's who that is. Uh, I just want to let those of you who were interested in that know. And the n next big thing that happened is we went to a press conference with Harvey Dent, and we learned that the people of Gotham, or at least the reporters, aren't necessarily... Uh, as far on our side as we probably thought they were, being uh, Bruce Wayne, like the big everybody loves millionaire. Turns out not everybody loves Bruce Wayne, uh, especially the reporters. So uh, right now we're rushing back to our house. We got a text from uh, Alfred that said that we have a bunch of cops, I guess, snooping around our house. So uh, that's where we're going to pick it up and let's see where it takes us. Oh, so they're hey, like hey, actually going careful. through my crap? Put it back. I'm afraid we can, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. Ooh. It's not personal. Uh, go ahead, do your job. I didn't profile. do anything. What if they find the Batman crap? Holy crap. Okay, go ahead, do your job. Just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill in the rain with skates on. Alfred. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence. Who authorized this, and if I refuse, what do you expect to find? Uh, who authorized this? Your taxes. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. Mayor Hill? As long as he's mayor, he calls uh, the shots. I'm friends with the DA, uh, and you <laughs> okay, do what he so says? You just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. What are you breaking over there? Are you kidding me? How about you be a little bit more careful? What if they find the Batman stuff? That's what I'm worried about the most. What's here? Photo. Hello? Uh oh. Oh. Is that our family? Bruce! Stay back! Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. Wow, that's messed up. Bruce. Bruce. Bruce? I, the Vicky I didn't mean Vance? to interrupt, but... Uh, you keep showing up uninvited. That, this is the she second does. time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not going to have any for a while. 
How do you keep getting into my house? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. Uh, what's your angle? Whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette Ooh. received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I've got I mean, quite an idea. No one's even done their due diligence. Uh, on this. I think it is Falcone. This is politically motivated. Uh, it's a media well, frenzy. First guess, nosy reporters. The public's fascinated with you, Mr. Wayne. A scandal like this? It's a reporter's dream. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side do is Do I what give matters, a quote or do I refuse? Speculation. Uh, let's give on a quote. Record, then. Whenever you're ready. Uh, the story is pure fiction. My family is innocent. Justice will be served. Uh, the story this is pure story fiction. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Really? I thought that was a pretty cut and dry answer that was pretty You're obvious that I would this, give. Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. Why is she just on our side? Like, what did we do to have her on our side? I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Hey, that's actually a pretty good reason. Or a good idea. Cafe Triste, 5.23 p.m. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Don't act Wait, surprised, do Harvey. The reporters were talking about this morning? Uh, you, you don't know? Me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. Uh, enough excuses God you owe it. me. He blindsided both of us. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, it's either to screw us or if it's Falcone. Uh, I intend headlines. to find out. Let's that play it exactly safe. exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. Uh, it would just keep your distance. I'll campaign. Keep your distance. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Is that Catwoman? Don't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Huh. Uh, I think we've nonsense. met. Uh, 
I think we Harvey both hasn't mentioned you. Of topic. We can't say I Harvey think we've met. Never mentioned you before. Oh really? That's interesting. What was your name again? Uh, it's Selena. Selena Kyle. Is it? It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, Ooh. sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around mm. Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, uh, what happened to I your eye? Election, I guess <laughs> Let's I ask her. Drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. Were you? I was angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. Uh, didn't the police help? A car. What did you lose? It's not your fault. Didn't the police help? Well, that's terrible. Did they catch the guy? Not yet. But if they don't, I will. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. And things like this happen in my line of work. People uh, tend to they'll understand. What is we it that you do? You'll find you another client. Uh, oh, they'll sure understand. Will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? Yeah, we're fine. I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's uh -oh. Harvey. We have a one-on-one -on -one with a out-of-uniform Catwoman. Here we go. <laughs> We're just going to stare each other down. Nice to meet the real you. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't get any ideas. Likewise. <laughs> this explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor. The toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. You're with Harvey? What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Is it? Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I don't know what you're I talking about. But you. Uh, no excuses. I have risk? my reasons. I have I my you reasons. Know already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. I'm the bad How disappointing. Man. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. Why? This is awkward for me. Uh, you have something of I'm mine. Who hired you? The one Sounds robbed. important. It must be important. What's on the drive? I don't know. You don't know what you've stolen. It's not my business to know. My clients don't know who I am, and I don't know who they are. Or what they're moving. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks oh, like looks you've like made your bed. No, yeah. we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. Uh, you don't, don't need like me. No, you don't. Consequences. Uh, In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding You don't them. need me? I don't know. No, you don't need my help. You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Just give me back the drive and I'll be on my merry little way. Yeah, I'd rather not. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. Please, Selena, don't piss me off. You need to trust You're me. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. 
My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Fifteen minutes ago? Everything okay here? You tell She's me. She's Catwoman. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Wow. It seems like she was pretending that, uh... Gotham dogs don't screw it up. Uh, she was pretending like she had all the leverage, but if you think about it, we have a lot more leverage than her. It's like, yeah, it kind of sucks she knows our identity and she could say, oh, uh, Bruce Wayne's Batman, but this is her life Help we're me. talking about. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound Too of an quiet. ambush. Stay on guard. I'll try to. Now, last time we played as Batman, it was like crazy button mashing, so I'm a little afraid. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look good at all. Oh, crap. <clears throat> what villain leaves roses this wasn't with a people? Handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Ew! Exploded human remains? Oh! Is it okay if I don't search the exploded human remains? Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Ooh. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Who left Rose? Is it... Who, who would use a psychoactive... Isn't that a... Nothing left to bury. Scarecrow? Is that his name? What's that? Oh, I don't want to see that. I seriously don't. What What else can I even look at? Oh, I have to ex... Ugh. Ugh. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert. Not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. We've got a dead mercenary. So we have cops here. I've seen we have mercenaries before. here. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Ooh. So it looks like they were trying to get into that shipping container. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Oh yeah, let's open it. Let's see what's in there. Maybe they were trying to... Holy crap, Batman, you're pretty strong. Got a canister Looks like fragment. A started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Okay, so we have some kind of What can we even link that to? Okay, we gotta find something else first. Unless it's... Can we link the blast epicenter with this? 
Any link? The scrap of metal was from an exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. A gun, probably. I thought you've already come to that conclusion. Anything? So it's hmm. empty pallets. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? I don't know. Propane? A shot cop. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. It's a cap! He's got a gun on him. Um. Unscorched area. Something was here when the explosion occurred. It looks like a truck. And then it must have driven away right away. Uh, what about the. Oh, White Rose. Yeah, what the hell does the White, white Rose, Rose mean? Falcone's calling card. Oh, it's Falcone's? He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Ew. No. That bad? Yeah, I would say so. Clawed face off lashed. face? Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. What would have caused that? This Skylight is so gross. Club. Ew. This is terrible. Everything this in this been badly burned. Ugh. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Uh, what are we going to stick in this man's head? Ew. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Yeah, but do incendiary rounds? Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. What? Well, I don't understand this. Oh, unless it was... Was he like... Hallucinating? The cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? It has the to be the scarecrow, right? Could make them psychotic. Cause it talks about escapes from a. Uh... So I'm gonna link that bullet with the scorch marks, or the no, it would be this thing over here, right? No, not that. Okay, so it must be the scorch marks, right? Maybe unscorched area? I don't know. That's the only other thing it seems to let me link it with. Okay, does that mean we've made all the links? I'm not sure. Are we done? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so we can break these links. We want a link. Okay, those two are correct. And then the incendiary bullet we want to link with this, I think. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. 
It appears military. Okay. Does that mean the... These two have to go together? I don't see what else could kind of go together now. Okay, so they obviously got away in a car Someone drove or a truck. Off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Or both. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks Who like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. And would have contaminated okay. himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. I would say there, but that seems too close to that blast area. Maybe the stairs? Would that make sense? Not a bad angle. No trace of phosphorus though. Okay, so it's not here. I'm gonna try the other side, I suppose. That first one, like, right above seems way too obvious. Okay, good. That's what I thought. If he was right above, they either would have seen him, or he risked, like... Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Thanks, cool little robot thing. Appreciate the help. There's a cigarette here. It's still <laughs> lit. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Out the window, it sure looks like. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. <laughs> Is he... Did he die? My turn. Holy crap. Don't oh, was he just taking a nap right there? Graveyard. No, Coney, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! <laughs> you... You can't make uh, me talk. talk and I'll spare you. You didn't do this alone. I ain't telling you, Jack. Are you sure about that? We're gonna like dangle him off the you roof or something. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. See, I don't know how to play this because. I don't know what kind of Batman this is. Is this one that kills people, or...? It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal! I'm a bat. Uh, give me a reason to give stop. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. 
Oh, you can hit him in the face? No way, the ribs, hit no. Me. Hit me! Tell me! That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container! Someone must have heard us, called the cops. We were told no witnesses! Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I'm not breaking his arm. Apply a little pressure, maybe. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! Some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! No, I... we're not gonna break his arm. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. Disappear. He, he tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The Batman. Oh. Come on, Gordon. I'm the one who You're called you here. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Okay, you did. You did see my non-violent approach, right? I want to play it as that Batman. I like the whole Batman thing where he doesn't kill people. I don't know. It seems more Batman-like to me, I think. And I think that's actually where I'm going to end this one off. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was uh, another good one. I really enjoy this. I like that it's kind of more of the, like, mystery slash, like, well, obviously a lot of it fo uh, focuses on Bruce Wayne himself, but even the Batman stuff, it's more like a mystery type thing, it's not necessarily, like, crazy, kicking ass, taking names type things, which, obviously it's awesome, but I think it's been done so many times before, it's kind of cool to see this other angle, but I'm gonna end this one here, uh, I will see you next time, hopefully very soon. Uh, I shouldn't have any more breaks in between episodes. So uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Have a nice day. Yeah, goodbye.